Welcome to Coming In Hot. Thank you live from Airplay Beats for the intro music. We are recording live from Darling New Media Studios in Midtown Sac. Now, guys, we're continuing the Calling All Dreamers series because 2019, Nash and Proper, Calling All Dreamers winners. So I wanted to bring on all the contestants from the 2020 2021 calling all dreamers competition now my next guest is the sweet tooth factory we got two of three in the building the other one could she she didn't like me i guess she was like nah y'all two go ahead and do it no. uh, we, got, <laughs> we got we got leslie and we got shy in the building welcome to coming in hot ladies thank you Cecil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So, like, mother daughter, what's going on here? Mama daughter. All That's right. It. So, let's get into a sweet tooth factory. What y'all about? And I already, I already saw the commercials. You know, like, <laughs> let's get into the real rawness of what business is. You know, um, we, we we're not doing no commercials here. We're getting mm -hmm. into the the guts of everything. Mm -hmm. So. Sweet Tooth Factory, how did it come about? What whose roles and all that? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna preface this by saying that my first food truck I started with my dad and my stepmom, and we're Ooh. not in business together anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh -oh. So that's what I'm saying, guys. So you really <laughs> gonna have to sell me on this one. <laughs> All right. So we'll start with you, Leslie, because you're the one that I reached out to and we've, we've been texting, we've been emailing back and forth. So Sweet Tooth Factory, your mom and your sister, correct? Yeah, that's okay. exactly. Yep. So how did this come about? Whose role is what? And how are you guys gonna win this contest? Go. That's a lot. <laughs> We, All right. we, got, we got about 45 minutes. <laughs> All right. So, um, yes, mother and daughters all coming together to form this partnership to expand Sweet Tooth Ice Cream Cart into Sweet Tooth Ice Cream, uh, Sweet Tooth Factory. Okay. So it started probably way back before Sweet Tooth Ice Cream Cart actually started, which was a year ago. So my mom has been making cheesecake since forever since the beginning of time that I can remember. She's um, perfected this 20 year, um, over 20 years, she's perfected this cheesecake recipe. It's a family favorite. Mm -hmm. Anyone that comes over to our family for holidays or for birthdays or whatever it is that we're celebrating, <laughs> they always eat her cheesecake and they always say it's absolutely delicious. And it's competitive. Our family is competitive when it comes to this cheesecake, if she makes it, she makes usually two or four at a time. And if we give one away or two away, we'll have two in the fridge. And we were uh, known as a family back when to like wake up in the middle of the night and eat some cheesecake because we knew <laughs> it wouldn't be there the next morning. If you wait too long, it's not there. So it could be a huge wedge piece. Uh -huh. And if you went to bed at midnight and woke up at six in the morning, it was already half gone. Somebody woke up and ate it. Oh, so wow. it was competitive. Okay. If you didn't get that cheesecake, anytime you see a piece, it's not going to be there very long. because Somebody else is opening the fridge and cutting off a sliver and a sliver and a sliver. <laughs> so it's real competitive, but it, it kind of started with that. Okay. Um, we're a dessert loving family, whether it's cookies or brownies or pie. My mom makes amazing desserts over the years. So we've never like ordered for the holidays, Mother's Day or whatever. My mom just always made cheesecake and pies and everything you can think of. So mm -hmm. kind of started with that. That's how me and my sister Elise, you know, grew up loving dessert and ice cream and everything else in between. And brother. And, the, and my brother, too. So, oh, we got a brother in the business. Got a too. brother. Okay. He's not here. All right. <laughs> he's not a part he's of it. He's, All right, well, he, he's from the sidelines. He's, he's, he's just cheering y'all on. That's a good brother. He's had enough right of there. the women over the years. He's like, you know, go on and do it, and I'll just cheerlead for you from I the sidelines. I love side it. Line. I love it. But last year, I actually was laid off from my job, and I was just at home, 
And I just, I've always been kind of a busybody and, and needing to be uh, challenged and stretched and all these different things. So I was at home just kind of doing nothing like a lot of people. And I decided to start trying to make my own ice cream. So I started mm -hmm. looking up recipes. My mom actually gifted me an ice cream maker, mm -hmm. um, a winter ice cream maker, which is like top of the line, super nice. I started making ice cream for the family. Mm -hmm. I fell in love with making ice cream, putting different things in it, experimenting with strawberries or brownies or whatever it was, just adding all these different inclusions into the ice cream, ended up loving it. Mm -hmm. And prior to um, the pandemic, I was, I've been in the wedding industry for a very long time. So okay. it kind of clicked. Both of those things kind of clicked like, oh, I wonder if I could bring ice cream catering to weddings. So um, I started, I used my unemployment money <laughs> mm -hmm. to purchase a cart. And I was like, this is either a really uh, brave thing and really like a good decision, or this could be a really bad decision. But I decided to open a business with that. And um, it turned out to be a really good decision. Now I did work behind the scenes. I was looking at financials and I was looking at, you know, the market and Sacramento and all of that. So it wasn't just like jumping off a cliff and trying mm -hmm. to hope that it survived. But it was like a calculated risk, but I did ultimately decide, I think this is really something I could catch on. So it did for the, for the last year, it's been awesome um, catering ice cream for weddings and getting to know different couples and all of that. And then this Calling All Dreamers competition came about and I was like, hey, instead of just doing ice cream only, why don't we partner all together? We've been wanting to do that forever. For years, we've been talking about wanting to open a dessert shop. So I was like, hey, this might be a great opportunity and leverage the ice cream cart to then propel us to an ice cream and dessert sweet shop instead. So that's kind of the beginning of everything. Mom, did I miss anything? Yeah, just that um, <clears throat> we had done a few uh, pop-ups with the cheesecake. Um, we did a uh, taste of El Grove a few years and we did a, a couple events uh, at uh, UC Davis where Elise is, uh, is working. She's a physician there and uh, we've done some holiday just, you know, offerings for the community. I've had offered, uh, provided cheesecake for families and friends, you know, over the years and et cetera. So and you know that is something a little thing at smud so we've been a little active with the cheesecake as far as offering it and i just thought leslie did such an amazing amazing um transition from unemployment to that little cart mm -hmm. and that cart is just like a little catch cow people love that cart it's adorable and i just remember when she was first um you know coming up with design ideas and all of that and the ice cream just caught on. Now, something you should know, Cecil, how we got the name, mm -hmm. Sweet Tooth. So I've called Leslie, I've said Leslie has a Sweet Tooth. The whole family actually has a Sweet Tooth, but mm -hmm. she trumps us all in Sweet Tooth. <laughs> being a sweet between tooth my, it's between me and hey, my why dad. She, why and my she doing you like that, Leslie? <laughs> Mom, really, like, for real. I'm going to throw her under the bus right now. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, it's between my me and my dad we're both <laughs> neck and neck okay all right yeah. and they so, used to eat ice cream she's yeah. always been an ice cream lover my husband is a huge ice cream lover i mean okay. he says if ice cream is in the freezer and it's not being eaten it worries him so he <laughs> it bothers me too somebody like, needs to eat it it's like i can't let it just sit there i have to eat it and finish it off right and so as a young child even at three years old the two of them would sit in the middle of the family room with the tv on with some sesame street show with the whole carton of ice cream and I'm talking about a ladle. I didn't say a spoon, a ladle. They would be digging into that ice cream and he would get a mouthful and she would get a mouthful. And so it's just, it's just been nice. It's in her blood. They, they love, we're big ice cream lovers, cheesecake lovers, and you name it, we love it. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's, it's that's sweet. Hey, that's sweet, so, we love it. That's so amazing. Um, but one thing I, I do have to ask you, because, uh, you know, Jack, just being in business for so long, why, you know, because because Shai just said the little carts of cash cow, <laughs> why expand 
if you already got something that's working because me being in the restaurant business, owning two restaurants, a ghost kitchen, uh, three food trucks, it's a lot. Hey. You know, like <laughs> it's a lot to put on your shoulders. So why why downtown and why not just stick with the food or the, the cart or like just buy three more carts so you could <laughs> go go around the city? Yes. Sacramento wants it, honestly. Okay. When I, I do ice cream catering, people ask me, what else do you offer? And I'm like, oh, just ice cream. And they're like, well, can we get something else? So I think over the past year, as I've been doing events, and then also when we did our pop-ups for the cheesecake, it's a killer recipe. The ice cream is something that's all year round. Um, okay. At least for me, I eat ice cream all year round. Uh, most people do. <laughs> and I think that it's really what people want. They want somewhere that we can all like gather again as a family or out on a date or out with friends and really just have that spot after you get out of a theater performance, after you get out of the Kings game, you know, where if you have people coming from out of town, where do they need to, you know, the, the great spots that they need to go to. Um, I think it's something that the city really, really wants. And the okay. ice cream catering business will still continue. So we're not mm -hmm. stopping it. Um, we'll never we'll do that. We'll We'll, do that. <laughs> we'll do both. We'll do both. We have yes. two cards now okay. and both of them are doing, we can do double events in a day. Nice. Um, and it's, it's going well. We mostly cater weddings and, um, sometimes birthday parties and anniversaries and all that. So that will continue. Mm -hmm. But I honestly think that those in Sacramento people, Sacramentans, <clears throat> they love their dessert. I mean, if you go to Rick's, if you go to any of these dessert spots, Gunther's, um, the parlor, all these dessert spots, the lines out the door, it's wrapped around the building. And okay. so there's a huge demand and we want to give the people <laughs> what they want. So <laughs> like you, Mom. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, like that was my next thing because there is, you know, Rick's, you got Ginger Elizabeth, you got um, Kayla over there in the ice mm -hmm. blocks. Um, mm -hmm. So like, how are you, uh, you know, how are you separating yourself from, you know, like the, the competition? Like, because I, I see you guys, I see three black, beautiful women, and I'm always going to pick you. you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but how, how do you, need you to show us your it? ballot? We need to make sure. <laughs> Let's confirm before you submit that ballot. Yeah. <laughs> so how, how, how are you going to get the rest of those people? into your your restaurant or, or your uh, brick and mortar? Well, I want to say that, and I really have eaten at the, the different, the various uh, dessert places that you have mentioned. Mm -hmm. And they have good desserts. Mm -hmm. And I think what we want to do is bring our spin. So, okay. you know, everybody has a little bit of different type of uh, sweets that they want. And we're bringing sort of that, I want to say, I want to say down home, but what your mom baked, you know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of folks who still really uh, enjoy a really a, a great dessert, but it's, but it also has that nostalgia to it that reminds you of what your, you know, your mom or your grandma baked or whatever. I come from a long line of great um, bakers and my mom was, was excellent actually she's probably the one that really inspired me to Peach cobbler to, mm. to, to, mm. <laughs> to, mm -mm. to begin baking and <laughs> and um <clears throat> because you know I, my mother's from uh, new orleans and you know that's some good eats down there right and so okay. i grew up like that uh we didn't have um she didn't always use all the fancy names but it's same the basic it's the same basic food Mm -hmm. And so I think what we want to bring is the cheesecake because it is actually very good. And okay. I have had, and this is no bump on Cheesecake Factory because I will go there and enjoy myself there too. But I have to put this plug in there because people have said it to me that actually it's, they love it. They love my cheesecake and, you know, everybody has their preference. Mm -hmm. And so for some people, they like, my style of cheesecake and for some people they like cheesecake style of cheesecake and then well, that's not the only thing we want to offer let me stop you there real quick what's the difference between your cheesecake because i i, I i'm not a sweets guy i'm a savory dude 
I'm sorry, guys. I love me some peach cobbler, though. I, I, tell my, I, tell, I tell my mom, you know, like every, you know, six months, I'm like, hey, just make me a peach cobbler. And I sit there and I just eat it like on, on my gut, just sitting there <laughs> shoveling in my mouth. Uh, what's the difference between your cheesecake and because we got the New York very dense. We got, you know, the aerated one. And I think that's more of the Cheesecake Factory. Where mm -hmm. does yours lie, Shy? With creamy love. Oh! I'm hitting right. it right between the two eyes with creamy love. <laughs> the creamy I, love. I'm going to say right. something here. My <laughs> son-in-law, my two son-in-law both told me, and, and I'm going to tell you, my girls told me, they do not like sweets. They were just like you. They're like, I don't like, I'm not really into sweet stuff. But when I make this cheesecake now, they are the first ones in line asking for it. There and they're go. not sweet lovers, mm -hmm. but they love my cheesecake. And I mean, every time I make it, they're asking, you know, for their piece. And Leslie, every now and then, accidentally eats, you know, <laughs> her husband's piece. <laughs> That's what she said. But my cheesecake, I would say that it, it's a balance. My cheese, my cream cheese, is it's, it's a nice soft cream cheese. It is not super dense. It's not dry. It has mm -hmm. a very refreshing taste to it. It's light. And matter of fact, the way I make it, um, it's, it's like you can't eat just one slice. You go mm -hmm. for another one because it's not overpowering in sugar. Um, it is sweet, but it's not overpowering sweet. I balance that, that vanilla flavor in it. I balance that lemon flavor in it. And you know, Look and then all your secrets have, away, Shy. Oh, the, oh, well, you know, it. But, Hers is layered too. But, it's very okay. layered. It it's layered. not just a lot of, I eat cheese. And whenever I go out to eat, I always order cheesecake. Cause I'm like, top my mom. I, 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 I dare you to top hers. Cause everywhere I go, I try the cheesecake. And honestly, hers has been better than a lot of restaurants that I've gone to. Um, but hers is very layered. Like you can taste each layer, whether it's a graham cracker crust, whether it's a creamy metal or whether it's like the sour cream topping, it's very layered and you can taste each one of those layers as it goes mm -hmm. through. And we really want to start off with just with the ice cream and with the cheesecake, but we really want to also branch out. So we're going to start small, keep it very um, focused uh, to mm -hmm. start with when we first mm -hmm. open. And then as it becomes popular, as we gain, um, uh, not followers, but as we gain um, like family, customers, all of that, then we do want to start going into more of like, um, you know, different types of pies, different mm -hmm. types of topsy-turvy desserts, um, some down home, like she was saying, peach collars and things like that, and offer different types of desserts, whether it's seasonal or whether it's just something that's going to stay on the menu. So it'll be very diverse in terms of the menu offerings as we go along. But to start with, it'll still be just the mm -hmm. ice cream and the cheesecake, and then we'll start branching out a little bit. Mm -hmm. But yeah. All right. Have you have so we, we talked about the cheesecake. I, I want to get into a little bit of the ice cream. Um, like what what kind of base are we doing? Are we doing like, you know, the eggs, the custard, we're warming it up, we're cooling it down, <laughs> putting it through, you know, like uh <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm just a student. Yeah, no, cooking. I. Sorry. That's how I make ice cream at home. I make ice cream at home, um, where it's more of a uh, French style ice cream, where it is okay. custard, um, okay. custard based, and um, the U.S. type ice cream um, is super like dense and and fluffy sometimes as well, but mm -hmm. it doesn't use eggs uh, like the that style of ice cream doesn't really use eggs. And I think eggs mm -hmm. actually allow it to be a little, a, not a little, a lot more creamy. So mm -hmm. I like the custard base. I will be starting off. Um, we won't be making our own ice cream for this, for the shop. We'll be um, wholesaling through Gunther's ice cream, which we do right now. Um, it is a city favorite. Um, they, all of my couples, whenever we cater ice cream, they absolutely love it. Um, so we want to continue offering something through Sacramento, through the city, which people already love. All right. So yeah. I, I, just me personally, I think you should stick with your own ice cream. Okay. Like we, we you know, like, and that's just one of those things where you want to show yourself, mm -hmm. you know, like I use Gunther's, but mm -hmm. I, I'm not a, I'm not a, you know, I'm mm -hmm. not a, you know, dessert maker or anything like that. Right. But, you know, I think to, you know, everybody, don't get me wrong, Gunther's, top, <laughs> top. Totally. But, you know, and go ahead and start with the Gunther's, but mm -hmm. 
perfect yes. that recipe perfect it so you're better than gunther's so mm -hmm. you could put on the the side of sweet cake our sweet tooth factory right. that you're you know been here for 50 years so <laughs> your so your kids down the line and their kids can be making that just like gunther's are yeah you know what i mean like absolutely that's that's one of those things where you know, we, we get in the business. We don't get in the business to sell other people's stuff. We want to we want to be in business to, you know, for that generational wealth. So we're passing it down. Very you true. know what I mean? So in yep. those recipes are going to be that legacy that Leslie, you know, uh, leaves to her kids, mm -hmm. you know, just like, you know, shy is going to lead to you with the cheesecake. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's yep. that's the thing that, you know, we when we're in business, because you just like you said in the beginning, Leslie, you you started this with your, you know, your unemployment money, you know, <laughs> keep that gangster in you because right. you're going to need that going through this whole journey. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like you have to keep that edge. You got to be like this thing could be over tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If Gunther's goes out of business, what are we going to do? You know what I'm That's saying? True. Like yeah. Gunther's ain't going nowhere, but right. if it does, like you don't want to be energy. like over there, Crystal. You right. know, like hey, Crystal, I need. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> on the side, while yeah. you know, calling all dreamers takes a lot. It mm -hmm. takes a lot out of you. I've been mm -hmm. through it, mm -hmm. and I get, I get where you're going. But just when you're talking to your mentor, just be like, hey, I'm working on this recipe. It's just not there yet. I want to. I want to push my brand forward first, but mm -hmm. in the background, when I get through with my 12 hour day with the cart, I'm working <laughs> on this ice cream recipe. You got to right. do that. All you know? right. and I, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm on this tangent, but I'm just saying like, we need that Leslie touch, you yeah. know, just all Leslie, all shy. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like it's, you know, like shy, just like you said, that cheesecake recipe drop down from your mom's and that's where you got that passion from you know what i mean so gunther's tops mm -hmm. but I, I i promise you leslie's is gonna be better all right thank you no that's dope and nice. that. <laughs> it's that. intimidating i think that's so true <laughs> it's we have to not i think that's so true we have to um push ourselves to be not to be consumers you know mm -hmm. but to be the creators of things yes. you know and, and, and to put our own spin on it. And that's kind of what I feel about the cheesecake. It has my spin. Yes. And like I said, I have converted many people. And when we've done these, some of these pop-ups, uh, people have said that they love it and it's the best cheesecake that they've had. And it's, like I said, it depends on a person's, uh, you know, each person has their own, you know, preference, but I really believe that uh, my cheesecake, I will go head to head with Cheesecake Factory, uh, and hey, uh, try theirs, try mine, see which one you like. Um, like me and my I know mine I, is good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I, I go ahead, I, 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 made, I make Nashville hot chicken, never been in Nashville, but right. I'll put my chicken up against anybody. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it's good. You're confident, <laughs> thank, thank too. You. You're confident. <laughs> but, You're confident. Um, I, I want to get back into the calling all dreamers. Um, I, I it, it just gave me so much. How is your journey with the calling all dreamers going? How's your mentor? Are they helping you? Like, and I'm, I'm just telling you guys this. I, I usually say this at the end, but if you guys need me in any kind of way, reach out, you know, like that. And you can, you can <laughs> you ask anybody like, yeah, I text back, I DM back. You, you do. just have to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do. So, um, What's you, how has it been so far? Because you just been named finalist. I know you mm -hmm. feel great. Mm -hmm. Um, how, how has the journey been so far? Because you're in the finals, you're in that final stretch. What's that feeling? It feels great. <laughs> and behind that great, it's awesome. Behind that great and awesome. It is a lot of work. It yes. is grueling. It yes. is not easy at all nor should opening a business be easy. Um, it's a lot and it's tested us. It's stretched us to our limit. It's uh, challenged us as well to be better communicators. 
Um, I was talking to a friend of mine and she's like, oh, it must be easy with, with, you know, you and your family and easy is not the right word. It's a lot of support (laughs) by having my mom and my sister. They're my two best friends in the whole world. It's amazing having the support, but the challenge in that is the communication. Like we communicate Mm -hmm. daily, but it's now transitioning our conversation from what happened that day to, okay, we got to get to business. We need to start talking about the business. And you may think you're a great communicator, but when you're in business with somebody, you realize, oh man, I need to be more on top of this, or I need Mm -hmm. to communicate exactly what I was feeling or exactly what I was thinking. And we, we rubbed heads or we bumped heads a little bit. We've, um, you know, rub shoulders a little bit like, oh, I want this or, you know, this is what I think, but it's challenged us to all um, see from each other's points of view and um, try to come up with a common goal and, and try to push it forward. So, and it's, it's a daily struggle. It's a daily challenge for us. Um, mm-hmm. It's a, and we're a work in progress. All of us are a work in progress to still kind of perfect our communication and perfect how we work together, not just as a family, but now as a business. So, but it's yeah. a, the process has been amazing. I know um, my mom's a business owner. I'm a business owner, uh, a new business owner, but a business owner uh, nonetheless. And it's actually, this process is making you dig deeper. It's making mm-hmm. you think of different um, things that maybe you hadn't um, working with our mentor and, and talking with people like you and talking with others in the, in the competition. It's giving us some things to think about for our business and kind of refining all of those items that may be, um, we thought were, you know, we got it down packed and now it's like, okay, let's unpack it a little bit and try to figure out and refine some of these items. So, um, but all together, I wake up and I think all of us wake up super energized to keep going forward. Mom, what do you think? Uh, I was going to say that also, I think the competition has helped us to, uh, to learn each other in different ways that we would not have known each other, which is really Mm -hmm. interesting because you know, you know each other as a family, but you go off and do your own thing and at your job and then you come, you know, you get together with your family and it's really not about work or if it is, you're just saying what has gone on. But in this process, you're learning how that individual daughter handles things or mom handles things. And what's her strength? What's my strength? What's Elisa's strength? And I think, you know, also staying extremely humble. And mm-hmm. I think that is the, one of the main things and not only in this competition, but, you know, when you're trying to work together as a family is remaining humble. We are a faith-based family. So even with that, it's still a, it's still a challenge trying to stay <laughs> humble and not want your way, but what's yeah. the best for yes. the company? What's the best? And mm-hmm. being able to, you know, really learn to communicate. Like Leslie was saying, sometimes you're talking at one another, but you're not communicating with one another, right? Mm-hmm. And and so I think that that's important. And then for the, also for this, um, this uh, competition, I am not a person who is, Uh, I never put myself in contests or stuff like that. I was never considered myself a competitive person in that way. Am I a go-getter? Yeah. Will I do something and push to the end? Yes. That's what I taught my kids. Don't give up. Keep pushing. You know, don't use any excuses. Get around it. Every day you need to be doing something that pushes you toward your goal. That's what I've taught my kids for years. Well, guess what? Now I'm learning that. I mean, I'm really learning it, right? I've taught to them. And I've been in it in different situations, but I'm in the situation with them right now, you know, with, with learning that. And I, and, I, and I, but there's something in me right now, Cecil, and I have to say this, there's something in me that just keeps pushing. I mean, we have been to the brink of this thing and saying, oh, what are we doing? <laughs> do we want this? Do, can we do this? <laughs> but there's something that just keeps hammering away in me that says, you keep pushing, you keep going. You just, you keep, you, you know, you fall, you get up, you don't do this right. Okay. Do it again. You know, Mm -hmm. do it, do it right. Keep doing it until you get it right. And, you know, and I have to say that is my mom. That is my mom's motto. My mom, Mm -hmm. you're going to be in shock. I'm the baby. I'm a lot younger, but my mom, 101 years old. And when I talk to her, you know what she says? You just keep going. You just get up and you just keep trying day after day. And that's that grandma's blood. And I'm telling you, that I think is what Leslie has. She mm. is truly that go getter. She inspires me, you know, and uh, and she's my middle child. She inspires me, and my oldest daughter inspires us, and we all inspire one another. And and you know, so Cecil, it has been a challenge, but 
I think we are a better family in many ways for it. And so I just got to praise God for that, this opportunity. And it, and it is a blessing. And we but honestly hard. like, really and we hard. honestly like need each other. <laughs> we <do. All> right. <laughs> we need right. each other. We do. We need the sass. We need the attitude. We need the grit. <laughs> we need the grind. We need the encouragement. We need, you know, we need there the now. naysayer. We need yeah. like each part of our personalities that we have, we kind of all need it, you know? Um, and we're very different personalities, but we're all kind of at the heart the same, but we are very different personalities, but we honestly need all of like, what my sister offers is so different than what I offer, so different than what my mom offers. And it's like, we honestly make up like this amazing uh, sisterhood and motherhood all together but we do need each other in that sense. So um, yeah, we're gonna rock it and we encourage each other one person's down or one person's stressed and we can kind of pick each other up and rally um, and all of that. So it's, it's, not, it's not to say it's, it's easy or not to say that it doesn't have its challenges, but um, when we're at our best, like firing on all cylinders, all of us, like we're really unstoppable. So um, yeah, we're gonna keep moving. So how do you guys break up the business? Like, Le Leslie, you you started it. So, you know, and then your mom's cheesecake recipe came in. So how are we, you know, because we all need different duties. We all can't be <laughs> yes. doing the same thing. You know, are you just doing the cooking? Mom's doing the books. Your sister doing what? How are you guys breaking this up? Because you guys are the Avengers. You could go out, do your own stuff. <laughs> and then yeah. come back as one and, you know, fight the battle together. So how are you guys breaking up the business? We all bring something different to the table. So that, that was another thing we had to kind of go through initially is because I am the middle child and I'm younger than my sister who's in the business as well. So she wasn't used to taking orders from me. <laughs> like, so you're majority to... owner of this whole thing? Like uh, it'll be, it'll be even, no, it'll be like even, but I think, what we all have, like what we, we all have our thing that we can say, this is what it is. So my mom does the cooking. She's mainly in charge of all of the cooking, the creativity, the design of the um, eats and all of that. So that is her thing. So she can override us <laughs> in terms of, you know, taste or in terms of look or aesthetic or anything like that. I'm more of like the G, uh, GM type role where anything, social media, marketing, books, business side of it, that's really where I come in. I have an MBA from Sac State, so um, new MBA. So I'm still learning even how to yeah, fully work it. all of yeah. that, that I learned. <laughs> I was like, oh, I learned this in school. Okay, now yeah. this is real life. Um, so that part of me is kind of getting into gear and really uh, putting the conceptual things I learned in school now in this business and really seeing how it plays out. Mm -hmm. And then my sister, um, what she brings, she'll be mainly in charge of the HR portion. She'll be in charge of hiring. She'll be in charge of the staffing, in charge of um, kind of general management um, of our staff and um, of that. So we all kind of have different things that we're, that we're overseeing. So we don't step on each other's shows, toes and that we can all kind of remain that balance. I love it, love it. Yeah. Okay, so this is our uh, next top five of coming in hot. So we got an ice cream maker and we got a cheesecake maker. So I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to swap it. So, okay. Shy, I want your top five ice creams. Ooh. Ooh. My top five ice creams. My first favorite ice cream would be, I've got to say right now, Gunther's just edged out because I love their butter brickle. Butter brickle, uh, okay. But my first, my top was always black walnut but they kind of edged it out because I like their butter brickle. <laughs> black <laughs> walnut, banana. I love black walnut. Uh, you can't hardly <laughs> find so it. Good. So good. <laughs> banana ice cream. Okay. And uh, I would say my next one would probably be really... Um, uh, uh, I love butter pecan. Road. Huh? Oh, Rocky Road, butter pecan. 
Rocky Road, yeah. Well, Butter Brickle to me is a lot like Butter Pecan. Okay. And then I think my final would be, um, it would probably be the, uh, um, what is it, almond mocha, the one that tastes like coffee. Oh, yeah. Uh, chocolate, the, uh, yeah, chocolate almond mocha. Yeah. That would be my top five. All right. Mocha, mocha almond fudge. Sorry. Mocha almond fudge, yeah. mocha almond fudge. Yeah. Mocha almond fudge. I got to try that one. That sounds like it's right up my alley. It's, it's, it's good. good. It's like a little bit like coffee. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. So, Leslie, top five cheesecake flavors. Uh, for sure. Better lemon. get these right. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely lemon. I okay. love lemon and cheesecake so good my mom makes a um mom what is it the the uh lemon meringue cheesecake is well, it's, it's it has it's when you made the lemon meringue cheesecake cupcakes were oh yeah. delicious. but he said cheesecake so no but I, it was a cheesecake cupcake like i think you you're thinking small. of lemon curd she likes that lemon curd on her oh you're talking about cheesecakes or cupcakes cheesecakes cheesecake yeah okay. you made a you made a lemon meringue cheesecake that was absolutely delicious that's one of my favorites okay okay um definitely strawberry of course the original is always good mm -hmm. um and she's starting to do a pumpkin cheesecake which is turning out amazing we're um, gonna tease that out for the holiday season <laughs> okay um, <laughs> And then we have like a lemon and blueberry uh, cheesecake too. That's going to be delicious. So those are probably it's raspberry. Top, huh? Raspberry. raspberry. And that's going to be my, those are my top five for sure. So okay. I'll say this so really quick that mm -hmm. my original cheesecake can stand on its own. It really doesn't need anything on top. Mm. And that's usually how the family eats it. Occasionally they will put stuff on top, but they get upset when I mix anything in it. <laughs> It's like well, just the original mom. Didn't Shy just say she's not a competitive person? <laughs> like maybe maybe seven minutes ago. You go hard in the paint said. just like I do, Shy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so at the end of the show, uh it's our coming in hot segment. Um, is anything that's on your mind that could do it could deal with, you know, calling all dreamers, it could deal with anything, you know, political, religious, anything that you want. So we got two of these. So we got one from Shy, we got one from Leslie. So Shy and Leslie, it's time to come in hot. We'll start what? with you, moms. What I want to know is I want to come in hot and ask you, CISO. Oh. If there was one number one thing that you love about being a Calling All Dreamer winner, what would be your top uh, item that you would say you felt that you got the biggest bang out of being the winner? I know you have uh, your restaurant. I know that. Yeah, but... no, and that's not it. Yeah, uh, that's a great, great question, but I still need you to come in hot on something, but I'll answer your question <laughs> is um, I enjoyed the whole process of putting a business plan together and going through and at my score um, uh, mentor, uh, you know, when we had to go and pitch in front of them, I got roasted. Like I went in there cocky. I was <laughs> like, you guys know who I am, you know, like it's Nash and proper, no food. You know what I'm saying? Uh -oh. Like just, this, uh, you know, like me and my business partner, just like a poster board with pictures of our food, pictures <laughs> of what our restaurant was going to look like. And just talking about, Hey, you know, like, and they're like, and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And then going back to the lab, you know, redoing my whole business plan again, then going to that final shark mm -hmm. tank. This is what I call it, shark tank. Mm -hmm. um, and just having everybody in tears from my story. You uh, know what I mean? Like I was, you know, like I messed up. So, and I'm a humble person. So I went back, I did my, I did what I needed to do. My, my score mentor was like, bro, like you got to talk through the numbers. And that's what I'm going to tell you guys too. You know, you might have the best cheesecake. You might have the best ice cream, but at the end of the day, 
They want to know how you're going to make money and how you're going to stay sustainable in downtown Sacramento. Mm -hmm. Like you can have the best of everything. How you win this competition is knowing those numbers and knowing how to talk about those numbers. Okay. So, you know, like that's, that's what I got out of it. You know, I, I, I could pull up a business plan, like anything that I do now, I do a business plan and you don't have to follow it to a T but it's just a roadmap to get yeah. into where you want to go because <laughs> business plans blow up that first day that you open, you know, but if you could look <laughs> yeah. back and be like, Oh, okay. This is what, this is what I wanted to do in month two. You mm -hmm. know, it's just kind of a guideline. You mm -hmm. can't, you can't always, you know, all right, my business plan, this, this, and this and follow it like that. But mm -hmm. um, that, that's how I got, that's what I got out of the whole competition. I just became a better businessman out of it. You know, because I was just I was playing businessman before, you know, and that's and one thing that I talked about earlier is me and, you know, my, my dad and my stepmom were in business. It wasn't their fault. It was my fault because I thought I was better and I could do more without them on my team. And I, I did. But at the end of the day, I wanted my I wanted my dad and my stepmom back at the same time, too. So I got, I got a successful business out of it and I got my family back out of it. Mm -hmm. So Amen. that's what I got. Thank you, Shy, for, you know, I'm about to cry now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so Shy, that's, that's what so I got cool. out of the competition. Okay. So I still need you to come in hot. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Mom. Okay. Coming in hot with just my own opinion about something, anything? Yep. Anything that you want. Well, if I was going to come in hot, I would say, like I said, I'm a woman of faith and mm -hmm. he showed up and he showed out and, you know, that's who Jesus is for me. All and, right. uh, he just, he, he just makes me grow and challenge and, and go for it. And, 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 and tells me, you know, I'm here, I'm lifting you up. You just got to have the courage, you know, to keep going and, uh, persevere. So that's where I'm coming in hot. I is, love uh, it. I love it. Going, take the challenge, take the hit, get back up, keep going. Yep. We're going to be coming in crying soon. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I'm like, okay, hold it together. Hold it together. <laughs> All right, Leslie, what you, what you got? Let's come in hot. Coming in hot is, for me, family is everything. And this is going to make me start crying now. But <laughs> family is everything. Um, you know, all of us have gone through um, our own paths and journeys and all. Of, oh, here it comes. <laughs> I can already <laughs> feel it now. But, you know, family is everything. <sighs> God is everything, too. But she touched on, on God. But for me, family is everything. Like, the way that your family holds you up and supports you. Oh, sorry. Oh, We're all a bunch of crybabies. <laughs> <laughs> we are. I I'm tearing up too. Hey, I was me tearing too. at your story. Yeah, oh. yeah. But no, family is everything. And it, and like I said, God is everything, but family, but God puts your family in your life. And my and I love my family and we all oh, love we. each other. Yeah. And um, you know, the like I said, the the, the process has challenged us and all of that. But when I lost my job last year, it was scary. And just having the support of my parents and my sister and my, my brother and all of them, my, um, my family to help, um, just encourage me and get me through that and, um, give me the, the, the courage to actually start a business and that's helped launch things. And my parents are both entrepreneurs as well. So being able to see, um, their hustle and see their grit through the years as well. And all of that, it's just, it's a beautiful thing to get to this point. And regardless if this competition works out, we will open a business, um, all together. And, um, it's and just a matter of, and it's just a matter of time. Um, and yeah, we have faith in God that, you know, we have a great thing and our family is, so tight knit and we will move this thing forward. But um, just having the support of our family, of my sister, my mom and other family members as well. My dad and my brother too. Family's everything. And that's really at the core of what all this is about. So, yeah. Man, 
Coming in uh, crying. Nah, yeah, <laughs> coming in hot and crying. <laughs> but that was great. Uh, go ahead, uh, Leslie, plug all your social, uh, anything that you need to get out there so people can find you. Um, yeah, I will definitely, because like I said, I'm not a big, uh, dessert maker. So I have a lot of caterings and they're always asking me to do a dessert. And I'm just <laughs> like, you're going to have to go to the next person with that. But if I could reach out to you and be like, Hey, what's up? Um, go ahead and plug all your uh, socials and, uh, Absolutely. website, all that good stuff. Absolutely. Um, so our, and your Nash and Proper is these amazing um, chicken sandwiches, which is very savory. And you. what you need to balance out that savory is in some cheesecake for dessert. <laughs> well, you know, we you know so we I, have an ice cream chicken sandwich there. So I've heard of it. I have not tried soon, it yet. I've well, heard as of soon it. as Leslie's ice cream comes around, <laughs> because I already get Gunther's. I already got the account. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> so go, go ahead and plug your social. Okay. We, we can do all this stuff offline. <laughs> um, social media is um, at, for IG. Uh, Sweet Tooth Ice Cream Cart is our IG. www.sweettoothicecreamcart.com. Um, and then for Calling All Dreamers, if you want to vote for us, we would love for you to vote for us. Um, it's callingalldreamers.org and you can scroll down and uh, vote for us there. So, yeah. Or you could come into Nash and Proper on or K Street. Nash and Proper. They've got a live voting booth in there. So you can go and put in your ballot and vote for us and get a chicken sandwich while you're at it. So I got a question, Cecil. Of course. I'm a veggie person. I'm a mm -hmm. vegetarian. Mm -hmm. So do you have a veggie? I have chicken fried uh, uh, cauliflower for Rets, and mm -hmm. I have, uh, we do our chicken sandwich with cauliflower as well. Ah, okay. I got but, you, mom. Do you have a veggie chicken sandwich? I mean, like a, you know. I yeah, it's cauliflower, it. yep. But it's cauliflower. Okay. Yep. And mm -hmm. it's hot and spicy. Yep. I'm there. <laughs> hey, so thank you so much for coming through Sweet Tooth Factory. You can holler at me for those delicious mouth-watering hot chicken and cauliflower mm. sandwiches All right. <laughs> at www.nashandproper.com, Nash and Proper, uh, at Nash and Proper, at Nash and Proper, EG on social media. You can holler at me directly at Chef Cease on all social medias. Thank you guys for listening. Please subscribe to anywhere that you subscribe to your podcast. This is Chef Cease. See you next week. Love you. Peace. <laughs>